Welcome to 2050. In the lunar version of 2050, we're not just doing ones and two space spaces. We have a robust, vibrant lunar economy and ecosystem. Everything that you currently have in your home or your apartment, your power, your water, your waste disposal, what goes in your car, your gas, your electricity, those are all things that have uh, analogs on the surface of the moon. So today we're gonna walk you through designing your own lunar ecosystem, lunar base, in the year 2050. So we, you know, we have a um, notational moon here with allies and adversaries. And we're gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna choose a base that uh, perhaps connects two allies um, to create a, a good ecosystem here. So we're gonna walk through a bunch of technologies. What I, what I uh, advise people is kind of pick the thing that speaks to you. So for me, maybe I wanna be a power mogul today. I'm gonna to make some capital here. So I'm gonna choose um, a robust uh, mixture of technologies. So I'm gonna choose some, some fission, something we're investing in today uh, to make a reality. I'm gonna be a little, a little um, uh, futuristic, a little uh, optimistic and choose fusion here as well. And of course, our solar power is not going anywhere, but it doesn't look like today's solar power. This is solar power that we are generating with our solar cells and our solar panels made from lunar regolith. We're, we're manufacturing this on the surface. And so now I have this healthy mix. I look, I could use some little more power, so I'm gonna add some more solar and some more fission. All right, now I have a lot of power. Now what do I do with it? Now, I, this is a big choice that I ask people. In 2050, are we a fully autonomous system? Do we need crew? Is crew there 12 months of the year? In which case, maybe I provide living quarters, uh, agriculture, transportation for the crew. Maybe we're a mostly autonomous system, but maybe we, we check up on it, provide some maintenance every now and then, in which case I, per, I uh, recommend more of a mobile habitat. Or perhaps it's, again, a fully autonomous system. I get maximum over, or, uh, mac, uh, minimum overhead here, and I can go sell all of my power. So we're gonna pick a little bit of a hybrid for this one. We're gonna decide, okay, mobile habitat, kind of like an RV in our most modern sense. So, you know, we can live and work, it's not for a long term. Um, and then we also wanna know, we just spent a lot uh, of resources on these power infrastructures, so communication. Make sure we understand the health and status communicating. And this is a, um, a way to communicate. So even today, Lockheed Martin is investing in cislunar commercial communications in 2024. So by 2050, we're gonna have, we're gonna be on multiple generations now. We're gonna have a, um, a full coverage constellation perhaps. And now by spying a single piece of equipment, we can now communicate both to everybody else on the moon, but also the earth. So now we understand from my investment what's happening. All right, so now I have a lot of power. And you know, for simple, so we're gonna add to first mobility. I am a systems engineer on uh, lunar mobility services. So that's close and dear to my heart. So I'm gonna add some, um, some roads, make the ride a little smoother for everybody. I'm gonna add some haul trucks so we can make sure we are transporting our goods. And you know, I have a lot of power here. So I'm gonna do some mining. I'm gonna do some refining and I'm gonna do some manufacturing. And so now I can continue my, my uh, power generation as I maybe make more solar panels. And now I have some additional power. So we're just gonna sell the rest of that out. Now we can do transmission power cables. That's our traditional power cables we're familiar with today. But we also have power beaming, one of those transformational technologies that lets us uh, transmit the power across um, further distances and perhaps to uh, orbit, on orbit assets. And now I have more power than I have, um, you know, I'm selling, I'm good. I've got a strong industry. I've chosen in this example, maybe not to focus as much on science, and I've chosen in this example, our crew's not always there all the time. So I'm happy with it. I, uh, you know, check out how we're doing. And, uh, you know, big emphasis here is um, everything we learn, all the alliances we've made, perhaps that capital we've made, we can now expand to Mars. The three pillars here that I, that I ask is, um, so we talk about transfer, uh, transformational technology. Do we feel like this technology roadmap is achievable in 2050? Is it aggressive? Is it not aggressive enough? That's the feedback we're asking. But also, what about the investment needed? You know, maybe technologically this roadmap is sound, but is there that investment? Is that a realistic roadmap? How do we smooth it? And thirdly, how about our policy, our regulatory framework, our standards, our technology standards and norms? What has to happen today to really create a robust, vibrant economy by 2050?